when Spring Training 1.0 got shut down, I really try to make sure that however long time off we were going to get to make sure I got, I took the mouse out of it and, you know, like try to keep improving stuff and trying to have that silver lining after it, trying to make sure that I really worked on something that was going to help me, you know, like advance as a pitcher and, you know, and uh, I really try to stay in touch with mail and making sure that things were going right, trying to find things to keep working on and, you know, little by little, uh, it was good. And then when I was able to face some hitters, face some guys, um, then that really helped me to feel more comfortable on the mound. So in a good rhythm, good tempo, uh, Jorge and I make, made sure before the game, game to try to like keep a good rhythm, make sure that we were working comfortably. And, you know, if I needed to take a step back every once in a while to take it, but overall felt pretty good. I feel really good. My body, my swing, everything. I just try to do my job to stay at the line. I really just try to be the same guy every day, like have the same approach to stay to the middle. And I see some video from the pitcher before we start the game. And he like to throw outside on a lot of sliders. So I just try to stay opposite field. You know, you just see the quality of the bat and you see more of a that battle all the way through. Um, you know, I feel like Dunk and James, those guys are doing a good job of making sure we're, you know, going up with a plan. And that usually pays dividends, you know, over t over time. If you'll get all your guys to stay on that program, you usually get a pretty good line. You know, you, if you got some talent, you got, you got a chance to score some runs. And that, I think that's what you've seen here is that guys just kind of battling up and down uh, with a decent plan and then trying to just take it up there.